Good morning students. Again we are here to discuss the question answers of chapter 10. Today we are going to discuss and do long questions of chapter 10 that is E part. In my previous class we had done the short questions which you have done it also very nicely. So today we are going to discuss the long questions E part. So let's get ready to do it. First question. List any three features of Indus Valley civilization which tell us that it was an urban civilization. Before going into the answer, let me tell you this. Discuss the question, what it is asking you. Means that Indus Valley civilization was an urban civilization. It was looking like towns and cities. We have to find out those features from Indus Valley civilization which proves that really it was an urban one. It was looking like towns and cities. So here is your answer. Yes, you can see on the screen. I have made a notes for you. Easy way so that it will be easy for you to learn. In points, I have given you this answer. The three features which tell us that Indus Valley civilization was an urban civilization are first, efficient drainage system. You, uh, when I was discussing the lesson, there I told you that well-planned drainage system was there. Every house was having a proper drainage system which was connected to the main drain and again the main drain was connected to the main drain of the city. So efficient drainage system also proves that it was having an urban civilization. Second, the houses which were built had two or three stories and a proper town planning was being made which you see nowadays also that proper town planning is there where streets will be made at what distance what where will be the drainage system all has been planned so there also in Indus Valley civilization town planning was there the third point is manufacturing of cotton and woolen textiles as you know that the farmers were growing cotton they were uh, also uh, carrying the occupation weaving so the manufacturing of cotton and woolen textiles was also flourishing very nicely so there was an industry which clearly proves that it was an urban civilization children the textile spelling is t e x t i L E S. Okay. Now I think it is clear on your screen. Next we come to the second question. What reasons were responsible for the decline of Harappan culture? You will get this answer in page number 90 also. And I have given you this answer. You can see on the screen. The first reason for the decline of Harappan culture was due to natural disaster. Means frequently there was a disaster. Historians be believe that it may have been earthquake, it may be a flood of Indus River and it may also a change in the course of river. That means the direction of the river would have been would have changed that's why this was maybe the reason behind the decline of Indus Valley civilization 
the next point is frequent invasion by the aryans the frequent invasion by the aryans in my next chapter i will discuss in detail this aryans but let me tell you in brief aryans nobody knows the actual origin from where these aryans believe belong somebody believes that they were the inhabitants of indus valley people and some believe that they were invaders so it is the thinking of different historians that they were indo iranians they were the tribes belonging to indo iranians so they were called aryans who emerged during the vedic age where they were related to vedic granth puranas which we will discuss in the coming chapter of iron age so these are your two reasons for the decline of harappan culture frequent spelling is f r e q u e n t and aryans is a r y a n s so we next we come to the third question explain the town planning of the indus people how the towns were planned when i was discussing the city planning i told you that it was been divided into two parts citadel land lower town citadel where high class people used to live their merchants priest and in lower town craftsmen it was a residential area and uh, where craftsmen cultivators used to live but he, i have tried to give you the answers as short as i can but this much you have to write so just see on the screen the towns of indus valley people were well planned it was divided into two parts citadel was the upper and the lower part was the lower town was the lower part there is a mistake here there little bit was the lower part which was the residential area in place of and you will write which was the residential area got it children so in place of and you will write which was the residential area houses how it was built it was built on both sides of the street s t r w e t and all the streets were cut at right angle when i was discussing the city planning i told you that streets were cut at 90 degree right angle so that when the winds are blowing the dust can be easily carried from one end to another apart from that proper water supply and drainage system was also found so this is all about the town planning now we come to the next question which two things help the people of indus valley to have bumper harvest which two things help the people to have bumper harvest that means what were those things which made the agricultural production very high so let's see on the screen the indus river helped in agricultural production first point is that how we can say that it was having a bumper harvest the annual floods the indus river helped in agricultural production you would have seen in uh, when you will go through the chapter when you will come across page number 87 then the line is given over there that annual floods in indus renewed and enriched the soil for good harvest so i have written it in easy way that the indus river helped in agricultural production next point is invention of bronze as i told you 
that bronze was more durable than copper which helped in the production of tools farmers used to use different tools like plow sickles so these were the tools which they used for farming so the invention of bronze also helped in the production of tools which helped in agricultural production or which helped in bumper harvest so these are the two points now next come to the last question bring out the similarities and differences between the features of indus valley civilization and egyptian civilization you if you have seen the first video of mine of this lesson there i was discussing about the similarities and dissimilarities between different civilization of bronze age chinese egyptian mesopotamian and also indus valley so here are the answers similarities there are number of similarities but i have given you only three similarities there are other similarities also but uh, the answer will be very long so keeping in this mind i have given you only three similarities first nature gods were worshiped so this was the similarity between indus valley and egyptian that both of them used nature gods egyptian used to use uh, worship sun god and even moon also and there also in indus valley the people used to worship nature gods in the form of animal birds and trees so this was the common thing there second is agriculture was the main occupation in both the civilization we will see that agriculture why agriculture was the main occupation can you tell me children because both the civilization emerged near river banks so you will find the common thing in every civilization that agriculture was the main occupation this is the second similarity third is domestication of animals was done in both the civilization animals were there reared which were used for different purposes apart from that there are number of points over there that both the civilization emerged near river banks this was also one of the common thing then even other points are also there but i have given you the answer in short so these are the three similarities now let's come to the differences between egyptian and indus valley civilization yes the differences are first first point is architecture where monumental structure were found in egypt but no such structures have been found in harappa you don't have to write architecture but i am keeping in mind the point of architecture and giving you the difference between these two civilization number of monuments pyramids were made in egyptian uh, civilization but no such structure has been found in harappan or indus valley civilization next is burnt bricks burnt bricks were used on large scale in indus valley this is the main thing found in indus valley civilization even the brick work was waterproof also so burnt bricks were used on very large scale and but it was totally unknown in egyptian civilization it was little bit found in mesopotamian civilization compared to indus valley but no such evidence is found in egypt the third point is that the area covered by harappan civilization was much bigger than egyptian civilization this you have to uh, make in mind this is from geographical point of view i am telling you because that time 
parts of Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, all were a part of Indus Valley. So that's why the area covered under Harappan civilization was much bigger than Egyptian civilization. Apart from that, other differences are again, I'm telling you that number of differences are there. That in Egyptian, the script was hieroglyphic, which can be read. But still today, Indus Valley civilization, the script cannot be read. Still the historians have not been able to read. It can only be understood by the help of pictures and signs. So this is also one of the difference between Egyptian and Indus Valley civilization. So children, there are other differences, but I have given you three similarities and three differences. It's enough for you. So these are your answers which I have given to you. So please do it in your history notebook and submit in your WhatsApp group. So your homework is to do the long questions E part in your notebook. And submit in WhatsApp group, in your social science group. Thank you children.